Hi there, Cancer, and welcome back to Star Lord is Tarot. This is your tarot forecast for the week of April the 1st through to the 17th. I went ahead, shuffled cards, laid them all out. Let's see what's going on for Cancer. First up, we have the Two of Wands in the upright, followed then by Major Arcana. The Wheel of Fortune upright. Next, we have the Two of Swords reversed with the Emperor in the upright. And lastly, we have Major Arcana of the Moon in the upright position. You have three Major Arcana here. Could be a bit of an intense week for you, Cancer. Your overall energy. Two of Wands in the upright position. Two of Wands represents that one foot in the past, one foot in the future, but mainly future focused. Some of you have had enough of what has come and gone. You're ready to move forward. You've got your eye on the ball here and you are contemplating something. Some of you, you could be looking at maybe moving, maybe moving across town. You could be looking at moving across the world. This is a big contemplation here. You're, you may, um, you may stay at this two of wands uh, for a moment just to try to decide whether this is something you really want to do. So this could be a week where you find yourself really, really seriously contemplating something, not necessarily taking action. I don't see the three of wands here in the uh, in the read for you. So you're not taking immediate action, but you are contemplating something. You feel it's time in some area of your life. Now, it could be playing out in your neighborhood. It could be playing out in your relationship. It could be playing out in your home. Whatever it makes sense to you, right? So, right at the beginning of the wheel, do you feel lucky, Cancer? Because the Wheel of Fortune is here for you. In the upright position, meaning that you are moving with the energies of the universe, not pushing against. There's no resistance being added here. So it does make sense that things will start falling into place. This is where we can walk into a store and perhaps uh, buy a lottery ticket and win a few dollars. Or we could um, we could look on the internet and find that they are posting our dream job. Maybe that's why you are contemplating something because maybe you're saying, hey, look, I could, uh, you know, get this better job. And maybe over here I could, I might be happier living in a place in over there, <laughs> you know, that kind of stuff. Because the possibilities are endless when the Wheel of Fortune is here. You can move into any direction at this time. Because the Wheel of Fortune for me comes about as a, a result of manifestation. It's when we've been wanting things, we've been uh, vibrating in that direction. And then all of a sudden, boom, the door opens up and now here it is. So you could get lucky. Like I said, you could win a contest. You could find yourself in the right place at the right time. You could be walking into a coffee shop, meet the love of your life. Like anything can happen when the Wheel of Fortune is here. Look out for it. Any little, um, any little nuances of interest for you, I would follow up on those because those could lead to a really good place. Like with the Wheel of Fortune, we do have to notice when our luck has turned and, and really go into it, the old strike while the iron's hot, that kind of thing. So always play when you're winning. <laughs> Next card up, Two of Swords in reverse. Have you made a decision here, Cancer? It looks like you have. Two of Swords in the upright. This is the stalemate. Trying to decide to go this way or to go that way. Well, I think you make a decision here. And this is because we need the correct information. Two of Swords upright. We feel we don't have the all the information in order to make an informed decision. Boom, the informed decision is here. And maybe for some of you, it's because you ended up at the right place at the right time. You knew where to look and you got your answer. So decision is made. Now let's move on towards the weekend. We have the emperor here in the upright position. Mars ruled energy, Scorpio and um, Aries connections. But the emperor strongly points to 
authority. It strongly points to power. This could indicate a powerful person around you towards the end of the week. Maybe they're aiding you or helping you in some way. This is the paternal, the grandfather, the father energy. This is somebody who has authority. So it could be that you're dealing with this person. Sometimes we can embody the energies of the um, the emperor and the empress. So this could be you, Cancer, this week, feeling like you need to keep control over something. Now, it could have something to do with this decision that you're making or you have made or, you know, the turn of events for you. But there could be a need for you to keep control. Maybe you're dealing with a super controlling person. This could be a boss. This could be, again, somebody in a position of authority. Sometimes he comes up as the CEO of a company or... Uh, someone with ultimate power could have a connection to the government or things like that. So there's a, a, a need for to exercise power here f on somebody's behalf. Now, this could be you, like I said, or this could be somebody else who's exerting their power. The moon follows it in the upright position. This is Pisces energy. The moon in the upright position can point to a need to listen to our uh, in dis uh, our uh, intuition. I'm just remembering something, Cancer. You guys got this in the bonus reading, didn't you, for uh, April? Yes, because there was a need to not be deceived. So um, deception could be around you. This could indicate like self-deception or it can be somebody else is uh, deceiving you. It can also point to misunderstandings. Um, there could be some misunderstandings with uh, uh parental figure this could be the father figure like I said uh, there could be some misunderstandings connecting or there could be a mystery surrounding this this person if this is your father or uh, grandfather or something like that maybe there's a mystery connected to it maybe you don't know all the, sto the, the whole story you might need to use your intuition in this sense um, yeah, so let me know in the comment section below if this is resonating for you. A very powerful reading, and there seems to be a strong message here for Cancer, especially with that uh, moon card coming up twice in the Aries energy. So uh, definitely look out for that. Let me know in the comment section below. And I want to thank you very much for joining me. I really hope you have a fabulous week, and I hope the reading helped you. If it did, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video. Much love. Take care. Namaste. Bye-bye for now.